What's good with y'all, man? It's Cambry under the video, straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Like and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, man. Let's get it. We are on Demon Tommy as usual, man. Um, so this video right here, man, someone went ahead and sent this in the Discord, man. Um, we're gonna go ahead and react to it. Y'all see the title of it. My wife cheated on me, so we started swinging, bro. Love don't judge. Now, off the bat, bro, just reading the title of the video, bro. We already know that whoever the husband is is mad weak, bro. Um, it's gonna be really interesting to see. Like, I'm interested to see what the husband looked like, bro, because clearly she is the one running the relationship. You feel me? And um, you know, she cheated on her. And, and the thing is, too, like, it's not even just they was boyfriend and girlfriend, but like, if you married and your wife cheat on you, bro, that mean that she really really likes bro like we understand how women work right when she cheat on you bro if a girl cheat on you that means she really likes the guy that she cheated on you with right because she thought about it you feel me she didn't just it's not just spontaneous women ain't just gonna just spontaneously just give it up whatever she thought about it she's been around her before you feel me and she probably did it multiple times bro because the thing is dog you know what i mean if a woman want to cheat then she gonna cheat you know what i'm saying and she probably gonna hide it you know what i mean and now it got to the point, I guess, in, in in this video to where bro didn't even care. Bro really was so down bad for this woman right here that he decided, like, oh, I want her in my life still. So we just going to start having, we just going to start getting intimate with all type of people so that it's okay to cheat. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's how bad he wanted this chick in his life. You feel me? Bro, it doesn't have to be that way. Y'all got to understand how to live a life of abundance. You feel me? If you're not living a life of abundance, you feel me? What are you doing, dog? And what I mean by that is if one chick cheat on you, then go to the next. There's no reason to be sticking around, bro. Like, there's no reason to be... There's no reason bro should still be with this woman at all. You know what I'm saying? That's not your wife no more. That's our wife. You know what I'm saying? So let's just get into the video. This is Christina. Christina. She fell in love with Mark. Yup. Yeah, yeah, bro. Listen, bro. No judgmental, bro. But like, let's be honest, dog. Come on. Look at bro. Look at bro. Like, bro, bro ain't got a single muscle. Like, he probably ain't been in the gym since like 2006, bro. I'm not even trying to be up. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to be mean, bro. Like, but let's, let's be real, bro. Like when, when, when you saw the title of this video and you thought about, dang, what the husband looked like, this is probably something similar to what you pictured. You feel me? All he's missing is the neck beard and, and, and all of that, bro. Like, let's be real, dog. Um, bro shirt. Look, look at bro shirt. Bro ain't even got no swag, bro. Individuality, bro. What does that even mean, bro? With the rainbows. Bro got a, a, a tattoo on his on his form, that tattoo look weak as hell too, bro. Weak ass tattoos. All right, Mark, Mark and Christina. Let's see what y'all got going on, man. Despite being in love with Mark, Christina also found she had eyes for other men. Then she's not in love with him, bro. Like y'all gonna understand that if somebody cheats on you, they're no longer in love with you, bro. Especially women, bro. If she cheat on you, she's not in love with you. She's in love with somebody else. You can't be really in love with two people. You know that? You know what I'm saying? You can have love for people, but you can't be in love with multiple people. Want to know why? Because you really, if you really in love with somebody, that means that you want to be with them. You know what I mean? That's how it's supposed to be. You you want to be with that one person. You know what I'm saying? You can't be in love with somebody, but oh, I'm going to cheat on you though. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're getting uh, uh, intimate benefits from somebody else. That's just not how that works. A relationship, you know what I mean? You give up. You you when Listen, I don't understand cheating. When you enter a relationship, bro, it's like, why would you get in that relationship if you was just going to cheat? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you was, if she was going to get with somebody else, some other dude, all she had to do was at least break up with my man, Mark. Like, come on, man. Mark already struggling. Look, he got the neck fat and shit. You know what I'm saying? He already struggling, bro. Like, come on, man. You ain't had to do that to my boy, Mark. And Mark, why are you still with here, bro? Like, hold on, hold on. Let me see something real quick. I kept cheating so much and I just couldn't stop. Like, okay, okay, Mark, I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. I was a little bit harsh on you in the beginning. You're not a bad looking dude. You got two different color eyes, but you're not a bad looking dude, bro. I promise if you just like, you know what I mean? Just like did a little bit of cardio, you know what I'm saying? Put on some pounds of muscle, you feel me? And switched up that ugly ass. Bro, you look like, that hairstyle look like, bro, I feel like that was like middle school, elementary school. Like, get you a fade, bro. What's your lineup? Like, what, what is that, bro? The number 37? Like, what did you ask for when you went to the barbershop, bro? If you just cleaned yourself up, you would look cool. Like, you wouldn't even look. You're not an unattractive dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not. 
You feel me? And, and, and this chick, you know what I mean? She She's okay. You know what I'm saying? But, like, there's no reason you should be in this relationship, Mark. You don't have to settle, dog. When uh, I did find out it was very devastating, um, I was heartbroken, to say the least. Oh, yeah, no I, I, I started thinking, oh, maybe I'm not good enough for her. I'm oh, my God. I hate that. Oh, maybe I'm not good enough for her. Bro. Oh, my God. Have some self-respect, man. Have some self-respect. Why y'all... That's the problem with y'all dudes these days. Y'all always talking about, oh, I'm not good enough for her. I'm not good enough for her, bro. No, bro. Like, what are you talking about, man? You may not be where you want to be in life, but you feel me? Don't ever view a woman as above you, dog. Like, let's be real. Because, bro, she cheated on you, dog. If anything, she ain't good enough for you. She couldn't even remain loyal. That's not a good uh, partner. That's not a good woman right there. That was not a good relationship. You should be leaving, bro. Pack your Rather bags. Rather than let the cheating break the pair up, they decided to explore new experiences. And it's funny how they normalize this. I just said, let's try the swinging thing. But the pair. Oh yeah, no, duh, bro. Of course you would say that, bro. That's okay because I guarantee, bro, Mark is probably providing for her in a way that she doesn't. She she knows that she probably ain't gonna be able to be provided for uh, by the dude that she cheated on him with. So therefore, she wants to stay with Mark and be able to smash other dudes so she's like uh uh let's do let's, let's do swinging like bro are you serious bro <sighs> that their new relationship choices were not received well by friends and family yeah no duh. like let's be real bro <laughs> imagine like going to your parents and and telling them yeah we 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 we, we swinging we swingers like bro what are you doing man really? I said, oh, swinging. The family, they found out on TikTok and what they swinging. did was go around to everybody else and talk about us behind our back. Bro, that is so emasculating. To go on TikTok, and look at this, look at this, y'all. Look at this, y'all. What they did was go. When I couldn't stop cheating, so I convinced my hubby to become a swing. Bro, that's so emasculating. Like, why, why would you even take this video, bro? What is wrong with you, bro? Like, what are you doing? Ah oh, man, bro, this is bound to sickening. everybody else and talk about us behind our back. Behind your back, bro. Love don't judge. Yeah, my um, yeah. So we've been together for seventeen years, um, and we've been married for. And I wonder how long you've been cheating on them for. Fourteen years, fifteen years. We did meet when we were younger in school. Um, I actually had a crush on her. I tried to touch her, and she just totally dissed me. <laughs> This is, this is, uh, I had a crush on her and I tried to talk to her, but uh, she rejected me. And then, uh, let me guess, let me guess, you begged her. So that just made me want her so much more. And then later on in our, you know, 21, 22, we ended up meeting at the bar and um, things just kind of went from there. Yeah, we are soulmates. We finish each other's sentences from like day one. <laughs> yeah, wow. so I've struggled with monogamy. <laughs> The reason why it worked out when they was 21, 22, and they met in the bar is because she was probably drunk, and she probably seen bro in a new light. She had beer goggles. They was both drunk. You know what I'm saying? She had beer goggles. She said, well, maybe he doesn't look so bad. I'll give him my number. You know what I'm saying? And it led to this. And now she just says she struggles with monogamy, of course. Whole life, ever since I was a little girl and had She'd boyfriends had in grade school, issues. I would have multiple boyfriends at the same time. So, Mark, you knew for a fact that she had a problem with cheating on dudes and you still decided to wife her up? Literally, you put a ring on it? She's different. I'm going to change her, bro. Come on. And the same thing happened to you. What are you doing? Like, 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 like. And then I cheated on him with like four guys. I was always. Oh my God. Four. Four guys. Four dudes. And I know she didn't just see them once. Four glizzies. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And it's crazy because like, and, 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 and bro, okay, if this were to happen to me, 
and my wife were to cheat on me and I and I stuck with her even though she smashed someone else and she was with four other dudes at least minimum why would you go on TV or YouTube or anywhere and say that? I would never say that. Like, why are you so comfortable with this? He's damn near smiling. Bro, are you a, are you a, hey man, between you and me, bro, is you a, is you a, is you a cuck, bro? Is you a cuck, bro? Because that's what it's looking like, bro. Because ain't no way. What, what, what logical dude is staying with it? Put an honest about it. Um, and just monogamy is not natural for Bro's me. just like casually. Yeah. Yeah. Not upset at all. What? When I found out, um, it was very devastating for me because at that time, it don't um, sound like I could have been monogamous with her the rest of my life because I, I loved her like that. I was so what is heartbroken that like now? to say the least about it because I, I, I started thinking, oh, maybe I'm not good enough for her. Oh my God, bro. And the thing, the thing is, women cheat emotionally, bro. And so, like, it's kind of like she, she really doesn't think that you're enough for, like, in her mind. That may not be the truth, but she really does view herself as above you, bro. I hope you know that. She has zero respect for you. Jen is done. It was hard for him to accept that, like, that I was only in love with him and only wanted to be with him forever, oh but yet God. wanting other man, yeah. men. That was, that was so Oh my god. A little while for you to like really to comprehend that. It was it was tough at first, but Dog. now I get it and I'm totally on board and I love it now. Bro, what do you you you, so you love being cheated on? I don't get it. I don't into get swinging. it. Swinging about two years ago is when we started couple swapping. We've been swapping. hooking up with unicorns our whole relationship, though. Uh, so a unicorn is a single female that hooks up with couples, and we don't have relationships with these unicorns because we're not polyamorous. Okay. It's purely hookup stuff. Uh. Here you go, baby. Um, for me, it was just. I, I, I I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say. Want, I just desire to be with other men. And then I would feel super guilty about it. Uh, oh, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I wanted to be with other men, but for some reason, I, I started to feel guilty about smashing guys other than my own husband. Oh, yeah. I wonder, I wonder why. I wonder why, Christina. Crystal. Crystal, like the champagne. Like, bro, I wonder why. And what's crazy is that um, this chick right here is kind of like, it kind of reminds me of how these modern day chicks act. You know. <sighs> and I've, I, I've done that with every relationship. If I try to be monogamous, I am not the happiest person in the world. I'm kind of no. like bitchy. Then why are you even in the relationship in the first place? I don't get that. If you know you can't remain monogamous, why are you in the relationship? And if you really did want to be in a relationship and still get with other people, why can't you make that known on day one? Put that on your Tinder bio. See how many matches you get then. Like, but 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 for real though, in all honesty, if you really want to be polyamorous or or if you really want to do things with other people while in a relationship, which is weird, but there are some weirdos out there that probably would like that. You would need to make that known up front. That is not something that you hide until you eventually cheat. If you know going into it that you're not going to be happy just with this one person, why not do the mature thing and at least say something at first? You know what I mean? It, it's like, why, why would you hide that fact? Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I'm not going to be the happiest just being with you. So I'm going to go out and get some steak from someone else. Like, bro, what? And then this dude, I guess he's just such a sucker that just decided to go along with it. Right. I know. He sees such a difference now that I'm not monogamous. Like, he sees, like, I'm just so much yeah, happier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I you bet. wish you would have done this years ago. I right? bet. I bet. So we've been together 17 years. We didn't know about Tinder. We've never been on Tinder. We've never been on dating apps until now. We did okay. not know that you want to find photo verified people. Yeah. So we actually got so, catfished about three times. Now y'all on Tinder looking for it. This is the most toxic relationship I've ever seen in my life. This is a toxic marriage. They honestly need to divorce. Like, I'm not trying to be a hater, but they need to divorce, bro. Because 
this is only going to end bad. This is only going to end badly. What happens when you bring kids into the equation? You can't continue to do this with kids in the equation. Well, what if they don't want to have kids? Okay, cool. If you don't want to have kids, then fine. But then it's like, why get married in the first place if you wasn't going to have kids? You know what I mean? Like, what, what was the point of getting married, really? You know what I mean? Just so y'all could live together. Y'all y'all could do everything you're doing without being married. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm wondering, like, Mark, uh, are you the breadwinner? Like, who the breadwinner in this situation? I'm at, I'm wondering. You know what I mean? Like, who's making the most money? I wonder who, who gets the most respect. Who's really wearing the pants? Well, we know who's wearing the pants in the relationship and in the household. We we can tell. It's her. Um, but I'm wondering who the breadwinner is. You feel me? Who, like, 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 I'm wondering the dynamics of this relationship, really, because there's no reason that they should have gotten married. Did y'all sign a prenup? Like, like, bro, so many questions I have. Our family I and wish friends, I could talk they, to these people. I wish I could interview them. Like, like, why? Like, why? We found out that we were swingers through TikTok. The only one that didn't was my mom and my brother. I had had those conversations with them. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I was her brother, bro, I'm not approving of that. I'm telling her straight up, no, no, no. And I, I don't, I don't care if I was her brother. You know what I mean? If I was his brother, I would have been like, no, I don't approve of that. My morals, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that they they just play around with marriage. Why do? Why this is just adding to the reason why? See, bro. Young people is already saying, I know a lot of young people that's like, oh, I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to get married. You know what I mean? And I think marriage, marriage is a, something that should be kept sacred and, and, and things like that. You know what I mean? But just this stuff right here, it, I see why people say they don't want to get married. Because this just erases the whole point. You've just erased the whole entire point of marriage. You know what I mean? So now, of course, people don't want to get married. Because now, when you do stuff like this... It's only financial. Like, what? That's the only thing. Y'all sharing assets and things of that nature. Y'all living together. That's the only thing. And if, if that's the only thing, then of course people are going to be like, I don't want to get married. This is terrible. This is toxic. Aww, so nice to see you. She was down physically. I know that. Ma I know she not. I know the mama ain't really me. happy with it. She told me that. Christina, not Christina. Um, her and Mark are dipping into swinging uh -huh. life. I know she ain't I happy. said, oh, really? I said, oh, swinging. Hmm. Why she say it like that? Really? I was, I was, I was surprised. Yeah. I listen, bro. <laughs> what I'm about to say, bro. If you get offended easily, I don't know what to tell you, bro. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bro. It would be some white people that did some shit like this. It would be some white. This is some low key some white people. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm just being honest, bro. Like, let, let's keep it real, bro. What other race do you see doing this? And I'm not even trying to be mean, but let's just be real. This is some white people shit, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Not shocked, but surprised. What the rest of the family we knew would be judged. My mom, bro, if I came to my mom with some mess like that, bro, I could be 30 years old. I'm getting whooped, bro. Until, what? So, yeah, they found out on TikTok, and Man. basically what they what? did was go around to everybody else and talk about us behind our back, but never saying things to our face. Never once. Yeah, well, you know what? That's that's what happens when you're a swinger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, what did you expect? Like, oh, like, no one else is going to find out. Like, of course she going to talk. You know how it is, bro. Bro, I remember uh, back when I was younger, bro. I used to get in trouble or something like that at school, and I would just be chilling, and then I would hear my mom on the phone talking about what I did. I'm like, mom, why you tell my business? But come on, y'all know moms talk. Mom, you know, you know moms talk. Word gets around. People talk. You know what I mean? Come on now. You could have. Once, because one that. of our friends of 26 years said. I saw that you guys were swingers and I accept you for it. They all want to follow my TikTok, but why? yeah, you've been my best why? friend for 20... Why? Listen, if I was your best friend, I wouldn't say shit either, bro, because it's like, why Why should I? You know what I mean? Y'all grown. I'm not going to tell y'all what to do with y'all relationship, but at the same time, why should I have to accept you for it? I don't accept you for it. That's weirdo-ish. That's some real weirdo stuff, bro, that I don't want to be involved in. Yeah, I might be your best friend, but listen, y'all some straight swingers. I don't want you coming to me asking, oh, do you and your wife, uh, 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 do y'all want to join us? No, I don't want to join you, so I'm going to keep my distance, too. I don't blame them. You feel me? 
years, you've ghosted me, you don't talk to me, you don't answer my text, but you think that you're gonna follow me on TikTok? I wonder no, why. I'm gonna block you. And then talk crap behind our backs. And then talk crap behind our backs. That's what they do. It's been Mark, difficult. Stop being because an echo. It's shown us who our real friends are. Mark, grow some balls and be a real man. Yes, I know there's some haters. And um, and I'm one of them. I think and I'm one of them. There's a lot of haters in this world, and I'm one of them. I'm hating on this relationship. I don't care. It shouldn't it exist. It fine, because Christina's a very strong individual. I don't have any concerns. They seem to be happier than they've ever been. Bro, I know that mama ain't. I know she not happy with it. You can kind of tell when, when moms are not really happy with it, but they just going to support you because they love you anyway. But you know deep down the mama is not rocking with this at all so we're gonna go tiktok live we oh are going God. to see if our viewers have any questions y'all gonna go swinging on live down? maybe i do it's ridiculous how mark like nervous i get about right going now. tiktok live. mark you're down bad Twenty-seven thousand of my followers are on mark she better be giving you some bread or something like she might as well just make only OnlyFans. you might listen if she gonna be doing this Listen, if this is how y'all, if this is the route y'all want to go, if you're going to have an open relationship, which really isn't a relationship, but if you're going to have an open relationship, you might as well just tell her to get on OF, on, on, on OF and make y'all some money. You know what I mean? You better take advantage of that. Y'all got all this TikTok fame. You, she already not loyal to you. She might as well just make an OF account. So at least you can get some bread, Mark. Come on, man. Think. Now, which is pretty good for 10.30 a.m. You can flip this to your advantage. Hello, TikTok Live. Honestly. How are my people doing? I've been on TikTok All right, live. so you let's take some questions. So he said, do either of you get worried about liking it better with someone else? Yeah, well, 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 to be honest, Mark, you should be. Because guess what? <laughs> bro, she probably, bro, she was already with four different dudes. Like, listen, bro, Mark, the way it's sounding, bro, and the way that it's looking, I haven't seen a single intimate moment between these two at all. You know what I mean? Or I, I guess they kiss or whatever in the beginning, but I don't know, bro. It kind of seemed like she, 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 she like it every everywhere else besides with you, bro. Like, let's be real. And you know what? Honestly, the thing is, she probably doesn't like monogamy because she gets with dudes like Mark. And in reality, she's lying to herself because she doesn't like guys like Mark. She likes guys like Tyrone and Tyrell. You know what I mean? She likes the Chads. You know what I mean? She likes the 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 the, the Bryans. You know what I mean? The she likes them type dudes. She don't like dudes like Mark. She only gets with them for a some uh, some sort of benefit, bro. That's why she always be cheating, bro. You gotta ask yourself, bro. Like like why why it does this chick always cheat? And then let's I, I'm willing. I want to see the type of dudes that she's cheating on him with versus what Mark looks like. That would be a very interesting to see. Um, we don't get worried about that. We have a very secure relationship. We've been no, together for 17 years. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't. No, you don't. I don't care. You've been together for 17 years. You don't have a secure relationship. You never will at this point. It's. And that's also where like the communication comes in when you're a swinger. You want to communicate all the time. If those feelings even start about to happen, what? if like feelings that are more than just having a crush on somebody starts to happen, you need to talk. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. Um, intimacy and emotions are not separate. You can't really separate the two. You can try and separate the two. You can you can you can act like it doesn't affect you, but ultimately it's especially for women especially for women especially for women for men too but especially for women because women are more emotional intimacy is an emotional thing you have to understand that bro women feel the best during intimacy when there is an emotional connection okay so what she's saying right now is complete cap she's lying to you through your t through her teeth bro you feel me this complete cap she feels some sort of emotional connection she feels some sort of something with all of these dudes right it's just that she knows for a fact that if she latches on to one of these guys that her relationship with Mark will now be over. And that security of being able to, to be provided for and taken care of and, and living in a house with him and all of this will no longer be there. You know what I'm saying? And it'll cause a whole bunch of other problems as well as the fact that she will no longer have access to, uh, 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 to a guy that will allow her to do something like this. You know what I mean? Like if she catches feelings for one dude, she knows that, you know what I mean? The chances of her continuing to be able to swing and cheat is probably going to decrease because it's not a whole lot of dudes like Mark out here. Spouse about that. Okay, good question. Yeah. Okay. So do you ever get jealous? Somebody said. I don't get jealous. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I bet. And you know what? Mark, look, look, the way Mark is looking, does Mark even get any action? Like, from, like, from, like, let's be real. Who's really swinging here? 
is Mark really swinging or is it just Christina and y'all just saying that y'all both swing? We started swinging. No, she just started doing it. And Mark is just sitting back and being okay with it. I feel I have a burning suspicion that that's what the case is really because she's talking about I don't get jealous. If she don't listen, bro, if your girl don't get jealous off of you doing something with somebody else, bro, that means that she just don't love you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. That means that she has no love for you at all, bro. Let's keep it a bean. Like, cause you literally getting with somebody else and she don't feel no type of way. Are you dead ass? I've had like two instances where I've gotten irritated, but not jealous. Um, not I'm very irritated. secure in our marriage. And I'll let Mark answer if he gets jealous or not. At the time that I got jealous, she actually had a side piece and mine two of them. kind of like ghosting me. And I <laughs> How was she so confident about it? Like she really, really does not care she really doesn't care about bro a little crazy and so i just cut it off with her so i had no side piece but she did and it kind of made me of a little bit jealous you didn't have a side piece. I'm, I'm not burning suspicion that they're not actually swinging she is swinging and he's just along for the ride because he's just so in love with this chick who's not in love with him back I have a burning suspicion. I didn't have a side piece at the time. Bro, I don't think you had a side piece ever. Put on a show to the world, especially when I was a business owner in a small town. We just acted like we were just, you know. A normal monogamous couple. A normal monogamous couple. We didn't right. want people to know what we did behind closed doors because we were afraid of the right. judgment. But now we just don't care. We're, we're proud to be swingers. And yeah, out I'm sure you guys are. The closet. Straight white people-ish. And yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Totally agree. Bro. Swinging has changed our lives. That for was the, best. the least passionate kiss I've ever seen. Not only are we happier, we're healthier um, mentally, physically. We don't allow toxicity in our life. We only allow. Really? Really? Positivity in our life. We're active all the time. We're active. It's made us just more attracted to each other. It's made our love no, deeper. It hasn't. No, it hasn't, bro. Like, even look at that, bro. Like, she, like, look, like, they're close to each other, but I could just sense something is off, bro. I could just sense something is off, bro. Like, you could just tell, dog. Like, bro, bro, Mark feels some type of way. Mark is upset. Mark is sad, okay? And she's the one that really pushed this whole swinging thing. Mark is not really down with it. You know what I mean? Deep down, he's 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 upset. He's sad, He's and he's heartbroken. His woman is getting piped out by other dudes, ultimately and if you can't see that then you just must be blind bro you just must be blind mark you deserve better than this come on bro exit the relationship come on dog you can find somebody else like i said bro just mark if you got in the gym got a fade with a lineup you know what i mean changed your looks got some swag about you or something bro maybe even like grow your beard out bro and just keep it nice and cut you know what i'm saying grow your beard out or something bro just get stop stop trying to look like a dough boy like bro if you just switched up your look a little bit, man, you be all right. I guess that's it, man. So anyway, that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, let me know what you want me to react to next down in the comment section. Run this video up for me. I love you. I'm out of here, man. Peace.